Hello and welcome. I am so excited you came by to visit us today because we're talking with Cecily Kaiser. So Cecily, welcome to NACI. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We're so excited you're here and you are in a new role at Penguin Workshop, aren't you? I am. It so is the pinnacle it. of my career. I am so excited to be here. Yes, I am launching a new list of books for zero to five-year-olds called Rise by Penguin mm -hmm. Workshop. Um, and I've been at Penguin for 18 months now, about a year and a half, which means that all of the brand new projects I started are now finally printing and coming out into the world. Well, that's got to feel good. Oh, it feels great. I can't wait to tell you about the books. Well, do it. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> it's just sure. like that. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the books. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about Rise. Um, okay. So that you understand the book. So Rise, um, as I said, is for zero to five-year-olds um, exclusively and with a very simple and straightforward mission, which is to empower babies, toddlers, and preschoolers with authentic and relevant and elegant books. Empowerment is the key here. It's what everything is hinging around. So, I mean, we believe that empowerment is the single most important tool for children this age because children who are empowered can then develop compassion and empathy and resilience and they grow up to be people who vote wisely and understand how to determine what is true and what is not true in the world. So every book on the rise list is meant to leave readers feeling smart and capable and important and safe and loved. Wow, that is an important mission, and I'm so glad you're undertaking it. Thank you. It's a huge responsibility what we do, what all of us do, everybody at NACI. We have a lot of influence over the youngest people in our world. So we're kind of rising, rising to this ah, responsibility. That, that is very cool. And you know, before you go into the new titles, I want to give people a little bit of context about who you are and what you bring to this new role. So you've done some amazing books in your career. Do you want to highlight a couple of the ones you've done in past roles? Sure. I, I have been publishing books for zero to five-year-olds for 20 years, which is so hard to believe. Um, and I came to this role um, not from being an English major and studying literature, but from being a child development major and studying children and getting certified to teach. So that is what I bring to this industry and this role, that's what I bring to my job every single day. So I started my career at Scholastic and I published Clifford books and I worked on Bob books and I worked with Carolyn Jane Church on a lot of those lovey books. And then I went to Abrams and I launched Abrams Appleseed, which um, where we published Alpha Block, which is now a beautiful, huge series. Um, and we published books with Pantone about colors. We published Pantone colors. Um, and then I went to Fiden and relaunched that children's list where we published um, Jean Julien's This Is Not a Book, and also one of my all-time favorite series, the Cook in a Book series with Lata Niemannen. So from there and from that background, I then, as I said a year and a half ago, came to Penguin to launch Rise. Okay, well, that's a perfect segue into the things that are coming out now. So can you show us a few of your favorites? Absolutely. So Rise is launching this <laughs> season. So you guys are on the cutting edge of all the newness. We have six books coming out. Two of them are picture books and four of them are board books. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. The first one is this book. It is called I Am Affirmations for Resilience. This book is written by a social emotional learning instructor who works at a large preschool with 140 preschoolers every day. She works on mindfulness um, and she uh, practices affirmations with them. And she's been doing this for quite some time. There are really no books on affirmations out there for children this young. So we seized the opportunity and we created a book that truly children and their parents and grown-ups could use. When you are feeling scared of something new, stand tall, put your hands on your hips and say, I am brave. So this is what it is. It's 10 affirmations kind of all given with, um, in different contexts. When you are feeling jealous or left out, put your hands on your heart and say, I am loved. 
that's it, my friends, 10 affirmations. I have to say this book just came out and it is receiving a ton of attention, not only from preschoolers and parents, but from adults. It really has, um, I think, appeal to a lot of people right now who need it. My friends and family love me. This book is illustrated by Adele Rodriguez, who's this internationally known graphic artist and illustrator. And he does a lot of work um, with social justice and human rights. He, he's in the New York Times. You can see him in the Washington Post, the New Yorker. He's kind of everywhere. And he felt like this book and this topic felt right, fit right into his oeuvre and really felt important to him. So we are thrilled about this one. Great way to launch the list. It feels good. Yeah. Let's for something that. different, one of our picture books, oh. I Am a Storm. So this is a book um, on our launch list. We got to work with Jane Yolen and her daughter, Heidi Stemple. Um, and they wrote this beautiful text in the context of the fact that storms and kind of weather events and emergencies are just getting worse and worse in this country, which we all know is true. And the truth is that resources for very young children have not really caught up yet. So this book is it's it's a it's informative it's honest but it's not harsh and it goes through four different weather emergencies a tornado a hurricane a forest fire and what's the fourth um a blizzard and it's four different families in each one um so for example when the wind howled and blew loud as a train We had a party in the basement with grandma, reading books and playing games with the flashlight. So it's the preparedness mm -hmm. and then it's the after because the, the, um, the theme here is that storms pass, they always do. Mm -hmm. And it kind of ends on a sort of anthem um, for young children. I am loud like the tornado. I am wild like the blizzard. I am hot like the fire. I am fierce like the hurricane. I am the storm. Mm. And when the storm passes, as it always does, I am the calm too. Oh, beautiful. So it's this beautiful meshing of some information, some nonfiction, some mm -hmm. comfort, some really poignant and lyrical words, and truly ends on a very, very empowering note. So this one feels important and it feels relevant. And these illustrators kind of created this really beautiful stormy atmosphere that feels a little bit ominous, but not too scary. I think we yeah. walked that fine line there. Yeah, very delicate balance. So yeah, that one looks fantastic. You've got one more, I think. Right? I have one more that I really want to show you. Again, something very different. Oh. This is a board book called Families Belong. It's the first in a series of three about families. And this is written by Dan Sachs, who some of you may recognize his name. He um, created, writes, and hosts a very popular podcast for young children called Noodle Loaf. The logo's on the back right there. You can see it. Cool. Noodle Loaf. Yeah. It is a music education podcast that kind of poses as a comedy hour. It's relevant. It's silly. He writes all his own songs. It's rhythmic. It's great for pre-readers. It's really engaging, and his, um, his audience just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. But he writes all his own, own songs, so he had this collection of music for preschoolers, original songs, and we approached him and said, is there anything here that feels like it could be books? So we ended up deciding to publish three books about families. This is the first. And really all of them are just about different kinds of families are showcasing different kinds of families and that really what unites them is love and comfort. Mm. This book was inspired by the Families Belong Together movement, but it's really not about that. It's really just about families being and belonging together. Families belong together like a puzzle, different sized people, one big snuggle, fitting just so together. Oh, that's cool. So there's just all different families in all different scenarios and dancing hand in hand together. Um, we, have, we have two more coming out, as I said. We have Families Can, which is showcasing all the different ways that a family can be, can be a family. And we have Families Grow, 
which is about all the different ways that a baby can come into a family. Aww. So very inclusive, very relevant for every child um, and delightful, beautiful, lighthearted. Oh, those look wonderful. I, I really would love to hear about all of them, but we don't have enough time for that, but you can see all the books that will be featured in our booth from Hegwin Young Readers and Rise in our Pinterest board. So be sure to click on our Pinterest board Ooh, oh, that's nice. What a beautiful logo. I think this will be on, I believe this will be showcased as well, which is our yeah. brochure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that will, that'll be in the resource section. So yes. be sure to check it out. And if you'd like to request one of these books, be sure to click on the link for that. Oh, these look wonderful. Thank request you. the books. Oh, they're real. They're in the world. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Thank you, Cecily, so much for taking time out of your busy day to be with us today. Oh, it was a pleasure. So, yeah, awesome. And Thank you so much for having me. I oh. really, I love NACI. I, everybody attending this conference does the most, most important work in the world. And I hope that the books that I'm making help you do that work. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay.